Hey, Ollie Matthews here, the Revitalised Man. I remember a time when I was working in, in the corporate world. Overweight, not very good at sales, not confident, and life was pretty shit to be honest. What I did notice though, is that I would get to work, need loads of caffeine, get going, need some sugar. And I would keep having this energy up, down, up, down, but it would keep getting lower and lower as the day went on. Then it got to the evening and I would be wired and wouldn't be able to sleep. So how do we get all day long unlimited energy and focus without cutting out chocolate? Well, here are four steps in order to do that. The first thing that I found worked for me and so many other people that I've spoke to is the first thing is getting a lean protein source in there, in each meal. What is that gonna do? It's gonna help maintain your blood sugar levels, so stop that crash or anything like that. A lot of people, they have a big sugary snack. That's gonna spike their blood sugar levels, then gonna drop them again, and they're gonna be all over the place yo-yoing about. If we can keep these blood sugar levels, or insulin levels, so to speak, nice and steady, you're gonna get more consistent energy. So have a lean protein source with your meals or around your meals. So if it's half an hour, 45 minutes around your meals, cool. The second one, and it came up in yesterday's uh, tips video as well, and that is hydration. Hydration is so key. Now at the time, all I used to do was drink diet drinks. And in the evening I would drink loads of beer. Now I'm not saying you need to cut out your beer, you need to cut out your alcohol or anything like that. Just keep keep an eye on it. Because if you're drinking loads and you say you can't not drink alcohol, maybe there's something else we need to sort out rather than your mentality to actually get an energy. So keep your hydration levels in there. Everyone will be different, but I look to aim for around three, ounce, uh, three liters of water per day. And spread it throughout the day because some people are saying, oh, I'll drink that amount of water and I'll need to go and piss all the time. If you sip it throughout the day, your body is going to take up and use a lot, a lot of it as it needs it. If you drink it all at once, yes, it's going to flush your system a lot quicker. So be mindful of that. Hydration is going to help with your mental energy, that focus, that energy. It's going to stop your headaches. Now, if you do get a headache and you think, I've not drunk much water today. Don't go and pop a paracetamol and have an ibuprofen. Just drink some water. Uh, you know the reasons for it, so why are you not fixing it? It's also going to be one of the biggest things to reduce fatigue. Back when I was working in the, it was in a call center in the sales environment. If I had a lot more water, if every time I went to the drinks machine I didn't get a toxic orange or a toxic lemon. You'll know what I mean if you're from Norwich and you've worked in that building. Or even a hot chocolate or anything like that. If I weren't having so much diet drinks, if I had water, my sales would have went through the roof. When I went back there four years later after dropping over £100 and got my health really on track, there was a reason that I became the best salesman around there. And one of those reasons is because I was hydrated amongst a few other things, obviously. The third thing is to be mindful with your caffeine intake. Now, we love coffee. Coffee is a great thing. Whoever invented coffee, I ain't got a clue who that is, but you're cool. Coffee is something which we love. But if you're relying on caffeine to keep you awake, then something is going on there. Getting your energy throughout the day is good. But if it's because you're getting coffee after coffee after coffee, you're going to be overstimulating your central nervous system, boosting stress hormone levels and keeping yourself fat when you really, really don't need to be doing that. Ladies as well, if you're on the pill and you have coffee, it actually doubles the half-life. So usually that caffeine is going to be in your system for, say, five hours on average. It halves in the amount in the system. Ladies, if you're on the pill, it will be double that. So take that into account. If you're having a coffee at four or five o'clock, it's gonna be in your system until the morning. It's really gonna interrupt your sleep patterns. It's not to say don't have it, just be mindful of it. If you're relying on it, try and look elsewhere.
what is going on? Is there something to do with the stress levels? If it's just that you've got a project that you need to be in and you're working on the new latest release you've got and the latest launch, and it's a simple temporary fix, that's cool. Just not over time consistent. And the fourth thing is that getting a quick energy booster in there. What do I mean by that? Well, two minutes is all you need. Doing some burpees, doing some mountain climbers, doing some squats, doing some thrusters, these sorts of things. You can literally do them on your chair, some dips, as I've said before. They are going to boost your energy for the next hour, two hours. And you are really, really going to notice that you get more focused. So doing those two minutes of movement, two minutes of exercise, chances are you will get what you would have got done in an hour. Oh, in three hours, done in an hour. So, as I've said, lean protein source. John, keep pressing that heart, keep pressing that heart. Lean protein source. Hydration. Be mindful of your caffeine intake. John, have you got a sore finger now? And fourth is your energy booster. Every hour, pop something, even if you've only got a minute. Everyone has a minute every hour. I mean, you could even just go and lie to your boss and that is a random now face. You could go and lie to your boss and say, I'm just going to take a dump. And you go and do some squats, literally. So remember that, all day long energy. You can get it if you want it. Follow those tips. I'll see you tomorrow.